This is worthy of being brought to the attention of the whole world. And I hope that you, all of you, watching this video will share this information because this is going to tell you exactly who Catholics worship because the leaders and the representatives of the Vatican, of the Roman Catholic Church, do not worship the God of heaven and earth. They do not worship the God of the Bible. They do not worship Yahweh. They worship a different God, Lucifer. You see, when we go back to that video clip which I have shared with you in which Trump was talking about the government shutdown, when you look at the three beings that stand behind Trump and on his side, on his right side and behind him, I pointed out to you that these are three Jesuits right before Trump. Now, these three Jesuits, they are direct representatives of the Vatican, the Roman Catholic Church. These men who are standing beside Trump are his advisors. Now I want you to observe the man on the right of Trump and observe the necklace that he is wearing. Now, this man obviously is wearing a cross around his neck. Most crosses that people wear around their necks usually have a human being that is crucified on that very cross. Most of the crosses that people wear symbolize the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And usually that cross is supposed to be, quote unquote, supposed to be Jesus Christ hanging on the cross. Now, this is how most crosses look. However, this Jesuit in particular, next to Trump, has a cross around his neck and guess what that cross has for an image. This, my friends, is the image of Lucifer. These Vatican officials, the Vatican, the papacy in general, despises Jesus Christ and they worship Lucifer rather than the Messiah, the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. This image that you are seeing is the image of the fallen angel Lucifer. You have to ask the question, what are these people doing inside the White House? What are these people doing right next to the President of the United States of America? These men are very powerful. That means that they are after one goal, Lucifer's final end goal. What is Lucifer's end goal? It is the mark of the beast. It is worship directly to him. Do I need to say much? Do I need to comment on this? I don't think so. It's plain right in front of you. You can clearly hear the worship of Lucifer inside the Vatican. There is no need for me to even speak further about this other than these people are devil worshippers. And if they worship the devil on the first day of the week, Sunday, yet they want you to keep Sunday sacred and holy do you have any idea what you are getting yourself into? That means by default you are falling in line with the agenda of sun worship. The worship of the sun is the worship of Lucifer. The sun is a light. The name Lucifer means light bearer, advising your leaders. Do you know what that means? That means that the end goal is going to be a satanic goal. By uniting the church with the state, America becomes an apostate protestant nation. In simple terms, my friends, the Vatican is both a religious and a political power. America is going to be acting soon both as a religious and a political power. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the name of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. The Pope holds the title of Vicarious Philidae, which means Vicar of the Son of God. Again, ask the question, 
What are these people doing in the White House in the first place? Bible prophecy is being fulfilled no matter what you think, whether you believe in the Bible or whether you do not believe in the Bible, Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. Even you atheists, those that do not believe in the Bible, ask the Lord to reveal himself to you. And when you do, make sure that you ask him earnestly.